Hi friends, it's Miss Sue here from the Painted Turtle Pottery Studio, and we are going to now do our flipping fun plate. So this is a super fun plate. This is actually especially good if you want to watch a movie themed to this plate. I would suggest maybe watching Luca. This plate really gives me Luca vibes. So if you wanted to make an afternoon of it and watch a movie that's something to do with this plate, I would say watch Luca. Okay, so we are going to make our plate. You're going to need your pattern. You're also going to need your plate, a palette for mixing paint on. Um, you're gonna need your three colors of P20, uh, sorry, P3, 15, and 13. We're gonna use all of these colors. You're going to need your piece of contact paper. I forgot my contact paper, so I'm just gonna use this uh, vinyl that I have here. Same sort of thing, except for mine's not see-through. And then you're also going to need a piece of just blank paper. We're gonna cut this up. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, some paint brushes and water, and you're gonna need a paper or a pencil or a marker, okay? So the first thing we need to do I realized as I was reading these instructions again to do this video that I really kind of made a mistake about one of the instructions that I wrote out and I kind of made more work than needs to be. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. First thing you're gonna need is your pattern and your piece of contact paper, okay? So I'm gonna move my plate off to the side, my paper off to the side. I'm gonna take my pattern and go, quick. Okay. And then what I need to do here is I'm actually going to cut out these flippers. All right. So I'm going to cut those flippers out. And I'm just going to cut straight across, first of all, just to get all the bulk of the paper off. And cut down this side. Perfect. Okay. This we don't need. You can use that as part of your trapezoid paper if you'd like. This you can just cut kind of straight. You don't have to worry about cutting the curve because it's okay if it sticks off the edge of your plate. We're going to cut up here. Boink. Cut up here. Boink. You can use that for trapezoids if you'd like. And then we're going to cut the little whoop de doos out here. Okay. Cut them off. We don't need those out of our way. Same with this one. We're going to cut our little whoop de doos. If you got little hands and you need a big person to help you cut, that's okay too. Just make sure you're being careful when you cut. Always cut away from you. And don't put your hand up here to cut up here because that would just be silly. Make sure your hand is further away from your scissors, okay? So this is where I said, I kind of made more work than we needed to do. On the instructions, it says to trace these onto your plate and then trace them onto your um, thing. You don't need to do that. I don't know why I said to do that. So I'm gonna take this paper. Uh, I'm going to take my flippers and I'm gonna trace that using, I'm gonna use a marker so you guys can really see, um, onto my contact paper. My contact paper is really curly, yours might be too. Um, and I'm just going to trace this using my paper. Okay. Tracing down, there's one flipper. You don't have to worry about the inside parts. Okay. Then I'm going to trace the other flipper. We, 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 and all the way up. Perfect. Okay. Whoops. That one didn't trace. Good. Okay. So I don't know why I told you to do it the other way because you really don't need to. Now you're gonna cut these out uh, out of your sticker paper, okay? So I'm gonna cut up here. I'm gonna cut straight across first of all, then down. 
take that off to the side. We don't need it now. We're going to take out our little toe flipper, flipper toes. Have you guys ever wore flippers going swimming? Uh, I have. They make you swim super fast. You're not necessarily the most comfortable on land, but I'll tell you when you're swimming with flippers, they make you go super fast through the water, like super fast. It's amazing. Okay, now I'm going to cut this one out. Oop. Kind of cut across. Go cut down. And if it's not exact, that's okay. We just need flipper shapes. Right? As long as you have flipper shapes. I wonder if, because these kind of look like frog toes, right? I wonder if. That's how frogs are so fast in the water because their, their back feet are shaped like this. So they're really super fast. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these uh, flippers and we're gonna put them on our plate like that. We're gonna stick them down. Okay, so you've got to peel them off the backing. Whoop, it's sticky, right? And we're gonna sticker it down. This one right here, Ooh, just like that. Okay, sticker it down. And it's okay if it sticks off the back here. We're gonna um, paint the back afterwards anyway. Okay, and then your next flipper can be right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I've got my two flippers down. See, I don't know why I told you to trace it on there. You don't need to trace it on there. That was just me being silly. Just Miss Sue being silly. I'm just gonna flip those over so they're not in my way. And then what we're gonna do now that we have our stickers down, we wanna make sure that they're down really good. Give them a good rubbing. Okay, then we're gonna make a nice light blue to paint our whole plate a light blue. Okay, so to make a light blue on my palette, I'm gonna use number 15 white. I'm just gonna put, coming out. <laughs> I have a different bottle than you guys do. That's probably enough right there. And we're gonna mix it with a little tiny bit of blue. Not a lot of blue because um, blue is a much stronger color than, than um, your white is. So blue is gonna influence your white really easily. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in just once, not like scooping, just kind of dipping in. Oh, I got the hiccups. Dipping in and I'm gonna dab this and mix it up so I can see what kind of blue I've got here. Might want just a little tiny bit bluer. Maybe just a little bit bluer. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Oh, bless you, kitty. My kitty sneezed. <laughs> and just take a little bit more blue. There we go and that will be blue enough, okay? I'm gonna mix this in. So I have a really pretty soft blue and I am using a nice big, big brush. If you have a big brush, make sure you're using that brush because this is the get her done brush. There's a really pretty blue, okay? So now just making sure I'm mixing it in. I'm kind of dabbing my brush, I'm not, I'm not stirring it too much. I'm more dabbing than stirring. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna paint the background of this plate, this nice light blue. And I'm gonna actually like brush away from my flippers. I'm not pushing the paint towards it. I'm brushing away from my flippers and along the side, okay? Brushing away. And painting a nice, soft blue all over the whole top of this plate. Do, do, 
do, do. I like this blue. It's a really pretty soft blue. It's made to look like, you know how when you have um, water in a pool, did you know that the water in a pool is not actually blue? It looks blue, but it's not. The only reason it looks blue is because it's reflecting the sky color. And also because sometimes they paint the bottoms of the, of the pools blue. So that's usually why it looks blue. But it's really not blue. I promise you it's not. Okay, so that's one coat. It's going to dry really, really, really fast. So you're going to put another coat on there. We're only going to need to put two coats of the light blue. Okay, so scoop up more, put more on here. Put a good coat of that light blue on here. There we go. Perfect. Two coats of your light blue. Okay, now we're gonna let this dry for a second because I wanna show you what our next coat is. We're gonna wash this brush out first uh, or you can just like scoop all the paint off that you can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put that off to the side for a second. I'm gonna grab my scrap piece of paper here from cutting out my pattern. Um, and then I'm going to cut a bunch of trapezoids. Now trapezoids are just kind of like squares, but not quite. So I'm just cutting some random sort of trapezoids in different shapes. See how it's like small at that end, big at that end in different shapes. You can do different sizes. And this is probably going to be more than enough, this half plate. So you don't even need an extra piece of paper. So trapezoids are kind of cut on an angle. Not exactly, you know, a square, not exactly a rectangle. Those are probably more than enough for our whole plate, but just in case they're not, you can always cut another sheet. They're probably more than enough though. And you can make them big or you can make them small. If you wanna make them smaller, make them smaller. Um, go for it. There's no right or wrong, okay? So if you wanna make these smaller, just cut them in half. It's okay. The more smaller they are, the more mosaics you'll have in your in your pool, which is totally cool as well. Right? Okay, are we ready? <clears throat> this is where the messy part gets. Your fingers are gonna get super messy and that's okay. All right, that's good. It's more than enough, more than enough. Okay, the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna take our number P or our letter P and we're gonna put some on our plate. Ooh, good. Or in your palette that you got, whichever works for you, okay? This is the fun part. We're gonna take our plate and we're gonna take a piece of paper and our big fluffy brush this is where your fingers are going to get really messy. You're going to take a piece of this paint. You're going to paint your piece of paper really globby, right? Then you're just going to put it down somewhere. Boop, tap it down. Paint side down, okay? And you're going to do the same thing with your next piece of paper. We're gonna put this in here. Paint side down, somewhere close to this. It doesn't have to be exact. You actually wanna leave a little bit of space in between. 
So see how I left a little tiny bit of space right in between? You wanna make sure you're doing that for all of these, okay? You're gonna cover the whole top of your plate like this. You don't have to worry about getting on here, but you definitely wanna make sure you're getting in between there and down the sides. So you're gonna cover the whole top of your plate like that, painting the paper. Make sure you have a good amount on there. Put this, oh, I'm gonna put that in here like that. Mosaic, tapping it down. Okay, you're gonna do that all over. Leaving some space in between, tap it down. Okay, next one. We're just gonna do this whole thing right over top of the whole plate. We wanna make a pretty cool mosaic. So pet painting the top, plopping it in. Making sure there's space in between, lots of spaces in between there. And you, if you want to, you can like pre-measure out. If you really feel you need to pre-measure out where pieces go, you could. Um, I'm kind of, Miss Sue is more a very, uh, ram, not rambunctious. What's the, I like to live life on the edge. I like to be very, um, carefree about my art. So I don't have to, I don't feel like I have to plan that much. I just, as long as I know I'm leaving a space in between, I know that it'll be fine. Yeah. Do you guys like to swim? Do you prefer to swim in the ocean or do you prefer to swim in a pool? Have you ever gone swimming in an ocean? I have been swimming in an ocean. Uh, it's very cool to go swimming in an ocean. You feel a lot floatier, if that's a word. You feel like you float better in an ocean. But I prefer swimming in a pool because I know there's no sharks in a pool. <laughs> I'm very, uh, very carefree when it comes to art, not very carefree when it comes about swimming with sharks. Just saying, not on my bucket list of things to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one here, kind of right to the edge. How cool is that? Now, just gonna keep doing this until I get most of, not most of, my, all of my plate covered like this. Do, 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 with some space in between. Tap, 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 tap. Perfect. Do, 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 do. This is just my number, my P had dried out a little bit. So I added some water to it, my letter P. And now I got chunks. I got chunks in my paint. That's okay. The water will eventually soften those chunks up and it'll become one again. Pop that down. Burr, 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 burr. See how easy this is? We're just gonna cover this whole thing with random pieces of paper. I think I like this way, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Making sure your paint is nice and juicy on your paper.
and don't stress if it's not a perfect edge. It should bleed out a little bit. That's kind of what gives it the fun sort of um, uh, watery look because you know how things ripple in water, like everything looks ripply, right? Put this one right there. Put this one there, yeah. How did I do that? This way. Right there. Now I'm getting where I'm going to go right over my toes of my um, flippers because I want to make sure that you see, oops, where the flippers are. Do, 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 do. Let's go right there. Burk, 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 burk. Need a little bit more water with my paint because get into the dry part now. There we go. Okay. Covering all down here, in here, and over here. And then I gotta think of something what I wanna put there. This is fun. You get messy, and I love getting messy when I make art. I'm kind of not everybody's uh, cup of tea because I think you should be messy when you're making art. Let's do this edge. Not everybody feels the same way Miss Sue does about making art and being messy. <clears throat> but I'm going to not change because I feel how I feel. that right there. Let's see a small one. There. Here, here, and that little tiny piece right there. See, I told you there was lots of trapezoids for me to use. I didn't have to worry about it. There, you don't actually need a whole nother. Okay. Let's do it like that. This one. And see what I'm doing is I'm just randomly grabbing pieces of paper so that I'm not too controlled with it. I don't I don't want it to be too specific. Put that paper right there. Tap it down. <laughs> Tap paint. There. 
And you know what? I've got this little tiny piece. I think I'll use that for there. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'll. Put this right here. Couple more over here, and then that little guy's gonna go right there. And then we've got that part of the plate done. It's really not um, a difficult thing to do. It's kind of fun. It's a little bit messy, and that's okay. We like messy. Messy works. Do do do. Messy is good. Almost at the home stretch. Go. That one right there. Perfect. And one last little guy right over here. I am now. Ooh. There. All right. So that's pretty easy so far, right? Like your hands are a uh, hot mess, but that's okay. I'm just going to take some water. <laughs> so I wash my hands and aren't dry them off. Goodness, good as can be. Now, I'm gonna take my big old paintbrush, put it in there, and I am gonna take this paintbrush, which is just a round paintbrush. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take some number 15. Not a lot though. And I'm just gonna dip my brush in. And I'm kind of just gonna put some like bubbles in some spots. You don't need a lot. It's just kind of like kind of dabbing it down. It gives just gives it depth and dimension. Um, if there's like some little random bits of white, but not really white because the blue will be actually show through still. It's just to kind of show a little bit of texture, if you will. <sighs> All right, pretty easy so far. Are you with me? Are you with me still? So far, so good, right? We're gonna wash that brush out. Now, here's the fun part of this whole thing. We're gonna now peel off all those things that we just put down. If you wanted to, you could take um, not a not a wet sponge, but a, a damp sponge and kind of just take your sponge. I don't have a sponge with me, but you could take your sponge and just make sure, whoops, push down to make sure that the paint is where you want it to be and it's stuck. You could totally do that. Just give it a smooshing down. All right. Once you did that, we're going to start to peel things away. It's going to look really cool um, and really mosaic y. All right, so I'm just going to start peeling these off. Go and see how there's no paint there. That's totally okay because that's sometimes happens when you're looking at things through water. It almost looks like there's parts missing or something. Okay, so we're peeling off all of our paper trapezoids if you have your pink tool you might need that to lift up some of these corners okay so if you need to just take your pink tool lift it up okay pink tool lift it up Pink to lift it up. 
not really scratching, just sort of lightly touching the paper so that I can get it up. This is a very good plate to put with the movie Luca. Have you watched that movie yet? I like that movie. Silenzio Bruno. <laughs> okay. And there we go. There is all our um, our mosaic tiles down. Now we have to take these sticky stickers off. Okay, so that's the next step. Is we're going to hold this plate down, and we're going to peel off that sticky sticker. Then we're going to hold this side down. Hold clean fingers. Go find the back end of your sticker. There it is. Peel that off, sticky sticker off. Perfect, those are where our flippers are gonna be. So now we need to make green for our flippers. You could use this really dark green, but I find this dark green to be really dark green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not even cleaning my plate because we already got blue. I'm just gonna make some yellow or add some yellow in there, maybe. Oops. I'm gonna take my paintbrush. There we go. Add some yellow because blue and yellow make green. And then if you wanna add a dab of your 13 green to it, you can. I'm not going to use a lot of 13 though, because 13 is really dark. That's probably more than enough. Just a little tiny bit. Okay, so we're going to stir, 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 stir to make our green. Oh, that's a cool green. That's a cool green. I like it. There we go. Dabbing. So I like to kind of pull my paint from the outside into the center circle, just so, so I'm mixing. So I'm not spreading my paint all around. Just kind of like to pull it all back in. There we go. There's a nice green. Spin off the excess that I don't need. Um, and I'm gonna wash the back end of my brush before I make a hot mess. So now you're gonna take a paintbrush, not too big, not too fluffy. This one's probably good for me, but you might wanna use a smaller brush and you're gonna actually fill in your flippers now. So you're gonna paint along the edge, fill in where they were with green and you wanna do at least two, but three coats is better, okay? go right to that edge and then if you need to go with a smaller paintbrush and do your details so kind of in the tip of the toe here you might want to get to a smaller brush just so you can get right into those details right right to that tip Straight down the edge. Go, let that coat dry. Go on to the next one. There we go. Sometimes it's easier to trace first like this, your outside edge. 
and then fill in your big spots. But you want to do three coats. So by the time you've gotten this flipper done, the other flipper is dry enough <clears throat> for you to go back and paint it. Do, 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 do. There we go. Pretty cool. I'm going to go back over on this one now. Go back in. And hope that chunk. No junk. Go. Number two. When you hear that sound, it means your brush is too dry. You need more paint, but I was done that flipper anyway. So now I'm going to go back and add more paint. As soon as you start hearing that sound, that means I'm thirsty. That's your brush saying it's thirsty and it needs to drink more paint. <clears throat> Okay, so down this edge, boop, boop. down this edge, perfect, and then the big spots. Excellent, okay. And then one more coat on this guy. We want our flippers to be really bold. Straight down. Straight down and then fill it. Go three really good coats on that side. Last coat on this flipper. Okay, so up, up, up. Down. Down. Last fill in. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, your choice is you can paint the back of your plate any way you'd like with any color you'd like it's your plate so you can let that dry while you flip this over and paint the back side i think i'm going to paint my back side with um my back this back side of my plate not my back side because that would be really weird to paint your own back side um i think i'm going to paint it with a bit of a tealy blue so i'm going to make some green not too much Ooh, just a little bit of that that 13. i'm going to add more blue i can get it out there we go perfect do, do, do. I'm going to mix this all up. Oh, maybe I might add a little bit of white. Yeah. There we go. Just because I want to see what it will look like. I'm going to take my nice big, big, big brush. Not too much water in it. I'm going to mix all of this up. 
And whatever color that makes is the color I'm gonna make the back of my plate. Mm, look at that, it's gonna be a really pretty, pretty teal. Oh, maybe it's gonna be more green because it added more green in there. That's okay, I like that color, it's really pretty. Okay, so that's the color I'm gonna do the back of my plate. Just because I don't like to waste paint and I had a whole bunch on my plate already. So let's just do the back of my plate like this. There we go. This is my get her done brush. And I'll tell you, it's not even a real paint brush. It's a makeup brush. But this Sue uh, doesn't do makeup anymore. So I had this foundation brush and I just happen to love how awesome it works on painting big pieces. So I use it because it's a fantastic brush. Yep, just kind of gets the paint on where you need it to be really rapidly. Perfect. Back of my brush, back of my plate is done. Excellent. Pretty easy, right? To get that back part painted. Now I'm gonna flip her over again because now we're gonna add the details to the front of this plate. Now you're gonna need a writer, a writer bottle. You have one. And you're gonna put a color in it of your choice. Um, it does say blue in the instructions. Uh, so you can put some blue in there. You might wanna add a little tiny, 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 tiny um, bit of water to your blue if you need to. Um, but let's see, my blue is drying up. So let me, let me do this. I have, really dry blue. <laughs> so I'm going to mix it in with some water because my blue is drying really up and you don't want it to be that chunky. Right? Add more water so that it's really kind of back to the consistency it should be. There we go. Then I'm going to put it in my writer bottle. You don't need to fill your writer bottle right up. The trick is um, you can use the same writer bottle for all kinds of different colors. You just wash it out after you're done, like pour the paint back into the bottle that you got it from and then wash your bottle out when you're done, your fun writer bottle, okay? So I'm going to pour this into here. Do, 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 do. some in there. You don't need a lot, so I'm just putting that little bit that I had in there. There we go. More than enough. More than enough. I might put add a little tiny bit more water in there because it was still quite chunky. Okay. Um, find your lid. Make sure you put your lid back on it. All right. Take the pin out, be careful, because there is a pin in there. Don't let it hurt your finger. And I like to give it a good shake. Put my finger over the top, give it a good shake, just to make sure it's mixed up really well. Right? Then give it a little squeeze and see if it comes up. Perfect. All right, 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these details on here. You can draw them if you want to draw them on your things first. Um, you don't have to, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, fun writer bottle. First thing I'm gonna do is to outline my flippers, okay? So I'm taking the blue and I'm just gonna quickly, I'm not doing it perfectly, straight line, straight line, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, it's not perfect and that's okay. Straight line, straight line. Whoop, 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 okay. Excellent. Now I need to put three lines. So I'm gonna do one, two, three lines and three lines here. One, two, three lines. And then the crissy crossy things go, it's kind of like a square. So one, two, three, and then it gets smaller each time. Just like that. Okay. There. Those are my flippers. It's pretty easy. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this plate over and you're gonna put your name on the back using your writer bottle, okay? So I like to do mine with a capital T, a P, a P for painted turtle pottery. Then I like to draw the turtle shell, his little head, his little tail, and there is my signature. And that is your flipping fun plate. How stinking awesome is that? So guys, I hope that you enjoyed creating your plate. Um, once you're done your plate, you can bring it to us for firing. We'll make sure that we get it in the oven. It'll be super shiny. And then you can eat whatever you want off of it. Don't forget if you're not emptying your bottle, if you're gonna keep that blue in there, to put your pin back inside it to keep the paint from drying out. But you can squeeze that paint back into your container and then wash your bottle out and use it for a whole different color on your next project, okay? All right, don't forget to clean up your mess. I hope that you're having a fantastic March break. I hope that you're having lots of fun creating your camp creativities, and I can't wait to see them all. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.